Okay, so every day, you might be able to just see that in the, the camera, it's the aeroplane that's landing. So I hear you this every single day that we're living here. And we, let's go and see, let's go and see what it's all about. So we're at the place where the that aeroplane lands. And where that aeroplane lands is the drop zone in Thailand. This is one of the biggest drop zone sites in the whole of Thailand with regard to um, parachuting and skydiving. So we're going to have a look. We're going to have a look today. So these are the students that are getting ready to do the jump. And this is the, the waiting room. Uh, people are already waiting and it's a Sunday afternoon so it's very very busy. And through the window there is the training room and one of the aeroplanes that they have that takes off and lands that you can hear going over my house every single day. So what we're going to do, we're going to go outside and we're going to see some of the parachutists landing. Just see, see up in the distance there now, there's a couple of people coming down. Now these earlier ones are the camera people, so you can actually get a camera looking at you while you're jumping out the aeroplane. It all comes at the cost obviously, but what happens, these guys come down first, and then when you land, because up there, you see the dual parachutists where there's two people, so the first time jumpers, the, the get escorted down by a pro professional parachutist. So as you can see, wow, these come down very, very fast. But remember, these are professionals, so these are, are com gonna come down very fast. So here we are, I see these every day flying over, overhead, and uh, you can hear the plane in the background, and they actually, land here and we'll see the plane land probably before the last parachutist land and they take off and they go to a height of about 13,000 feet and then they jump out so I'm going to give you some prices as to how much it costs to do with this type of thing and some more details with regard to if you want to come and do it here Yeah, landing. How oh, does that look for? Here comes on. the plane landing now, and there's still parachute is up in the air. So it's a very, very quick turnaround from actually when the plane lands to when he takes off again. So there's two people landing. And you've just seen the cameraman rush in to catch him actually landing. There's the plane landing. I can hear this little beast go over my house every single day. Next lot of jumpers getting ready to, to board the aeroplane. Wow, even a little young young boy. Brave little brave little guy. Some people that are waiting to go. In here. So the costs of doing a parachute jump here. There's various prices and I'm going to do a price list a little bit later on because you can jump as a student, you can learn to, to skydive here, you can do the complete course. I'm going to put a full list of how much it costs. It's exciting, ex exhilarating. I did a parachute jump 40 years ago and uh, that was with the old fashioned, old fashioned round canopy and my first landing wasn't very good. 
but I also used to do um, paragliding and I've been to France several times doing paragliding. I used to do paragliding in the Lake District in, in the UK and I became a, a paraglider pilot, which took two years to do because the weather conditions aren't very favourable in the UK. More times than enough, wind was blowing in the wrong direction, etc, etc, etc. Now, the reason why I never took paragliding on over here in Thailand is that the thermals are too strong, but there's a lot of paramotoring paragliding going on over here because you've got a bit more power with regard to having a paramotor on your back. But, but this skydiving is in Rayong province in Thailand and uh, it's the biggest in the whole of Southeast Asia. So I'll leave the website details later on and then you can have a look and if you want to go and give it a go, give it a go. And here we go, see how fast they load up the sand now that they're not filling up with petrol. Family with a little boy, fantastic. We'll watch the little boy coming down. Anyway, it must be very exciting for the little boy to go on there. I've never seen anybody that young doing a skydive. There they are, all loaded up, ready to go again. outside seating area as well so if you just want to sit and watch people here toilet area so let's go and get a cup of coffee and wait for the next lot of people that are going to be jumping we do also sell food here but maybe it's better off to have food after you've done a parachute jump because I've seen that lady bring up whatever she had for breakfast in the morning here. <laughs> and then you have the cold drinks as well and coconuts. Make it look so easy. Just text me back to when I used to do paragliding. I loved it. An exhilarating hobby. This one looks as if it's the young boy. Very brave young man. Take my hat off to him. Here we go. Down safely. <laughs> Already loading up before the last parachute is down. And there's the young boy.
waiting for his mum and dad. Well done, well done. <laughs> yeah. So they have vans for, to pick you up also at your hotel rooms or wherever. So it's a big, big organisation. So that's my morning out. Two places that are very close to my house, about 20 minute drive to the house. And that's the drop zone shooting club. And most exciting for me was the drop zone skydiving club. And with that, as we can see, the car park is pretty full, as was the internals of the place. There's some people going back to the hotel because they've been picked up and they're going to get chopped off. Sea View Tandem Skydive. So Rayong, Rayong, for anybody who wants to go skydiving, give it a go. Highly recommend it, I did it 40 years ago and the memory still there as if I did it yesterday. <laughs>